Hello everyone anyone and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I want the very beginning of the video to be a nice, tranquil, not hearing anybody else talk, not making me lose my mind <laughs> before it begins. And I've got uh, sad news for you guys in the sense that I recorded this episode with the content which I'm probably going to be doing within it already, yet it has been... Um, Yet, unfortunately, uh, I lost the recording thing, so some of this stuff is not going to be a surprise so, uh, to me. But I will try my best to not, you know, just say, oh, this is what's going to happen and let it fold out naturally. You just won't hear a genuine surprise from me because I haven't done it. So, here's what I did. In between episodes, bam, put some nails in these boots. Don't make it slip. Blinged out the belt of a ruby. Yeah. Found some cool little uh, things. I went, went shopping. I went shopping around town. For Seamus to get some more stuff. Uh, upgraded her belt as well because I do like that dual wielding trait. Uh, beyond that, not so much. Um, made a night, got a nice little ring for. Uh, no, pfft, this is not a ring. This is a chest piece for Bear Daughter. He's got a, an immunity to bleeding, which doesn't really work well with CL. He still has this crappy hat, and I'm I'm just I'm okay with that until I decide to change it until the next one comes up. Ooh, is that a bottle of swirling mud? Oh, I need to combine that with, uh, Fiery Heart or something, right? Somebody has a Fiery Heart in their inventory. Anyway, I did a bunch of crafting, did a bunch of this, did a bunch of that. Da, 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 da. Um, I don't know why the game's lagging so much. feels very, very laggy right now. Um, maybe it was Zial who had that bottle of heart, in her heart, whatever it is. What? Where did it go? Because the bottle of sword and one of the fire heart, I think, turn into something cool. Uh, well, whatever. I'll worry about that later on. What's the most important right now is getting back to the content. What we're doing right now... We, we found ourselves located here. I was trying to find a spot where we wouldn't be um, having to listen to these 10,000 people talk. We're putting on the uh, panties of Dear God, Be Better at Talking to People. Where did, uh, Zial go? Zial? Zial? <laughs> Where'd she go? What? Why? <laughs> I can't think of no reason for you to be there. Alright, anyway. Um, why is that icon turned to that? Alright, anyway. So, I will be going through the main goals for this is let's deal with the rat catcher and see what we can find out more about the prisoners. Hello. We know about the break in at the warehouse. Alright, uh huh. say I know a thing about it, except that the equal apes lost every last one of their bloodstones. Nah. Don't. I won this last time, so if I fail it this time. I failed it! Hurrah! Great. Is he gonna fight me? Hey, all your mounted apes look the same as far as I'm concerned. Good luck finding your bloodstones, bones. You'll need it. Great! You jerk. You hear something, brother. Ah, screw him. Screw him and the horse he rode in on. Uh, one of the things I did figure out when I was messing around with uh, crafting is, hey... There's a rat hole here. That's where the rats went to go hide. And I combined poison with cheese to craft ultimates in... Oh, it worked. Spoiler alert. Oh, I did. I dared. I dared. What do you have to say about that? Okay. Who are Any you? Any rodent with half a mind would recognize me by the diadem encircling my kingly head. I am the king of rats, of course. The ruler and leader of all rodent kind. Kind! I met a cat that has been kills me as he can. That must be the monster who's been slaughtering my men by the dozens. 
kind knight, I, his rodent highness, do make a request. Remove that beast from this town. Spare my men the claw and tooth. I consider you a true friend if you'd oblige me in this matter. And the loyalty of my friends never goes unrewarded. Mm hmm What do you know about the rat catcher? Uh, touched by madness he is. Imagine an orc believing he could train the god's most intelligent creature. <laughs> I assure you, it is we who have trained him. We perform the tiniest of tasks, and he rewards us with delicious golden cheese. Cheese. What are you doing this for? Responsible for the welfare of each of my subjects, secure the wealth and glory of our kingdom by contracting certain occupations through which we obtain security, honor, and above all, cheese. Jeez. A certain orc, the one who so erroneously calls himself Rat Catcher, has won our employment. He tells us what to find, and in exchange for a generous will of Gorgonbur or Gouda, we oblige. Blank. We merely closed in on this particular target, a trio of stinking humans who I believe to be cowering in their cellar. But I've lost too many men to this bloodthirsty feline. I won't send more troops into the unknown until the beast is caught. Okay. Find me in the cavern, Sarah, if you desire a second consultation. Oh, the smell of whiskey in there does so delight a king's senses. Mm hmm. Yeah, whiskey's good. Okay, so what is uh, Jinx? Oh, there you God, you could hear him. You were within. Uh, oh. Hello again. Do you bring good news? The rats all hail the, one of their kinds. They're in search of town of friends. Strange. I never knew those savages capable of even the most basic form of order. But this bodes well, does it not? Perhaps, if you can get rid of their king, the rats will stop their search. What's a body without a head, after all? That's very true. I could tell her to get out of town, but frankly, I know which way I'm doing business. You gonna try? I mean... Now, granted, Arhu has gotten me to have a newfound hatred of cats, and as somebody who's owned, well, you don't own a cat, they own you. Um, but it, it's had three cats in my lifetime, um, mainly in college. Um, I'm, I, I love cats, but maybe not so much. Oh, yes, keep talking. Kingdom dry shirt. Mm -hmm. So, I know which way I'm siding in this little, little story, if you will. Hi. He pops out. He's gonna be like, I got nothing else to say to you. Unless you've come to tell me you've turned a cat cat into fiddle strings, I have nothing more to say. Immunity to fear robe is not a bad idea. It isn't. I'm not buying it though, because I don't feel like it. So, uh huh. And then he goes away. But then you go, pop him out again, and. Then you take this lovely position and say, hey, Zial. Do, 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 do. Man, can I not get, there we go, backstab. Ooh. Power on. on guard. Then backstab, backstab. The, let the battle begin. You'll notice this battle went incredibly smooth last time. How will it go this time? We'll find out. Well, it goes like this. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is Jahan's wearing a home-crafted yellow robe of speed. Just because speed is awesome. Uh, okay, so let's get fast track going. We've already got our better thing here. But I switched tactics this time around, and I decided to... Let's, uh, let's just mess him up with some grenades, man. And hopefully I'll be able to find a good way to do it, because this was a part of the fun before. Grenades! Boom! Knockdown! This, because she's got so many of these things, it's like, why not? Hey, razzle dazzle, razzle dazzle schnazzle. Quick, dirty, and effective. Wow. Except for all the missing. It went a lot better last time, honestly. Um. Ah, oh, my piercing grenades. Piercing particles. Yay. Okay, now we have interesting things with Jahan. 
He still doesn't have enough to be able to cast, like, Hail Attack on the first round or even this. But he definitely casts this. So I'm thinking I'm going like, hiya! And look at all them stunned. I think this one's tripped, right? Camera. It's blinded. So, okay. So the CC has been... The CC battle has been won. Uh, Bear Daughter, I did interesting... I'm not completely following the plan from before. I'm changing things up a bit. But if you're going to attack a lot of rats, do so like this. Darkness. Two rats down. Yeah. Now, I do not recall... See, it's funny because when I did the whole... Oh. Oops. Um, when I changed around rings, I he's not he's no longer immune to stun. Um, in fact... I thought there was something I wanted to do to get him to be immune to stun. Ah, whatever. I forgot what it was. Although, all of a sudden, I'm incredibly curious, so I'm just kind of giving a look-see. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. Anyway, so... Thankfully, there's no stunning on the ground, so there's just... Yeah. They're immune to knock down. It's funny. The Rat King diseases you whenever you're close. But that's just the way it goes. So, what's your health at? Anyone's health at the right uh, prospect? Chancellor. Chancellor. I think I'm a Star Wars prequel here. Yeah, just take that. Yeah. Just murder it. And I know she's immune to stun. Which is great. Oh, because I totally just stunned Sh uh, Seamus tonight. Yeah, I did that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Take that, Rat King. Your subjects are all jerks, and so are you. And, uh... Yeah, if I truly just don't care, I can just go like this and go, Oh, God! I'm just toying with you. And he doesn't explode quite yet, but I'm just toying with you, what can I say? Alright, so... With that in mind, the Rat King is no longer CC'd. And we don't like that, so let's CC him again. Well, uh, and I'm gonna try not to get Seamus in trouble again. So, take this. There we go. Got some good old CC going on. Uh, this uh, little slingshot. Is there anyone actually hit with him range? I should have put uh, Seamus on uh, the other god. Can I attack my own guy? Not really. Now this ability, but I can go like this. Why not? Cause I don't care. I'm wild card. Boom! I feel like I've been set in stone. Dude, you're so, so good looking. Um, hi. Can I see you now? Who's alive? It's hard to tell. Okay, there's only two of them left. Alrighty, the Rat King might be at twenty percent. It's hard to tell. I don't think he's within range anyway. Actually, but you can tell just by doing this to see if they're at target is too far versus invalid target. See? So, you know, there's ways to kind of test that out. Suck on this! And I'll just keep doing that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bear Daughter is going to go with this because it's fun. <laughs> not kill anybody because that attack is so not worth it. I, I'm pro probably going to end up switching out for the other one. Uh, he's blinded. He's stunned. Uh, just go like that. Kill one of them. And then three. The Rat King himself. See you later, alligator. The rodent monarchy has fallen. That ought to solve the rat infestation. And offer those villagers a bit of respite from the hunt. But I doubt the rat catcher will take the news very well. Probably not. <laughs> In fact, uh, last time I didn't go talk to the rat catcher. Which maybe this time I will, you know, so I can still get some surprises for myself. 
Uh, what's fun about this is that you don't need to buy anything from the Rat King because anything he has, it comes to you I've and your inventory. Because I think that this robe is not a terrible idea for occasional battles with um, um, this, and I'm just not going to bother to pick up all that stuff because I'm not going to worry about crafting it. We do have that armory key. We got a lot of different things that we can do here. Uh, at the moment, I think we'll go talk to uh, Jinxie. Jinxia. I could do with a cold drink. So wearing the. Let's put on. Let's put on. Da 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 da. Dry shirt. All right. So we're gonna go back to talk to Jinxia the cat. Find out what's going on here, and we're getting closer to our goal of um, finding our way into the wizard's hut. Which there, ha there is multiple ways to do it, which is truly the joy I'm of doing the. Hello again. Like the, do you bring good news? It's all like finding out who the culprit is in the original murder investigation. Good news! I killed the rat king. Ding dong! The king is dead. Yeah. And I thank you from tail to whiskers for your help. Awesome. There may be hope for my friends yet. If you would, my friend, you could find them and help them escape now that those pointy-faced beasts won't be on the alert. Again. Their hiding place is enchanted, you see. Crafted by the wizard himself to hide those he held dear. They've concealed themselves in a cellar outside their home, the hatch of which you'll find beneath a great black boulder. Once you've destroyed the boulder, search in the beehives behind the wizard's house for the key. There we go. Okay. So, we now know how to get into the wizard's uh, hut, if you will. Um, at this point, I like to take the opportunity to go speak to the Jarl's men. Um, I'm not... This is probably, and it may end up being a terrible decision. Well, you know, one, let's go talk to the rat catcher. Because it'd be fun to rub his nose in it a little bit. What do you got to say for yourself, rat catcher? Move! Well, well, it does attack us straight out, right? So that's kind of fun. Now it's funny because I could probably inform Gruntilda. I don't know. We'll try it. I'm trying not to like break the game, if you know what I mean. But by like getting into a senseless fight that doesn't matter. Enough. Enough. Mm -hmm. Hey. Brave of you to disturb me, human. In your experience, has bravery been a particularly effective defense against disembowelment? Sure has. What's the so-called spinebreaker? The deer has certainly earned his moniker. Norok is my best boy. The pinnacle of orcish devotion. His child's mind and brick-hard arms make him the perfect soldier. Whatever I say, Norok will do. And with a gleeful smile upon his simple face all the while. Aww. It would do you well not to cross me, whelp. For if I tire of dealing with you, I'll simply have you sent upstairs to the Spinebreaker. He knows just what to do with the toys Mummy Dearest sends him. Take advantage of the uh, mentally challenges. Not cool. Hey, let's discuss your orcs. Let's discuss the uh, uh, rat catcher. My patience for his antics is wearing thin. Madness I can tolerate, but failure, not for a moment. Mm -hmm. Well... No, he, no, he deserves to die. <laughs> yeah, one less orc to worry about. If we tell her the rat catcher has lost control over the search, she'll eliminate him. One less orc for us to worry about. Right. Yeah. I'm 
a it's mad crackpot. one at that. I'll be all too happy to get rid of the crackpot. So, our rat catcher has overstayed his usefulness. How I do enjoy a problem with an exceedingly simple solution. Pardon? Ooh, this should be fun. Yeah, you go, Victoria slash Gruntilda. I'm kind of curious what's going to happen here. It never rains, but it pours, eh? Keep talking. I love hearing it. Please. Enjoying your time in this village, milling about sleepy but it pours, like eh? one of your vermin. You love that? Ratcatcher is dead. Which doesn't seem to have changed uh, anything else. But hey, it's one less orc in case I have to go all uh, crazy on here. Plus, maybe Gruntilda will like me and give me uh, traits eventually. Oh, I hate listening to all of you people. F all of you. F all of you. I think it's just because they, they, I think that they repeat their lines too often. It's almost like if they just were said about I should be left wanting them to repeat it versus it being all the time breaking my damn you again. brain. You got cotton in your ears or are you just playing stupid? Yeah. Uh, investigate the matter of bloodstone, the Chief argument. Asked you to look into the matter, did he? Yep. Well I can't say if you know your ass from your forehead, but if you've earned your ass trust, you've earned mine too. Go ahead and have a look. I fear there won't be much to find though. Okay. And he's very right about that. There is nothing in here but one ornate chest, which, of course, we're going to pillage. I mean, who are we talking to here? Um, but uh, it is simply not that exciting to do. Last time I got something from him that was kind of all right. There you go. Let's see. And this. Yeah. yeah, they exist. Nothing major. No, I don't know what's going on there, man. If I find the orc tubular, that what do you want, Flatlander? Yeah, whatever. All right. So, uh, with that in mind, I think I'm gonna switch tacks because um, there's a couple ways I could go about business, but I'm not sure if one of the ways is going to cause the entire village to uprise against me, uprise, to rise up against me. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can find the entrance to, uh, basically last time when I did and it, it ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, if you will. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, although what's funny about this is that, remember how I went all the way down to that grate with the blood? Well, the orc that I failed to do the charisma check on this time uh, was just mentioning something about dragging off bloodstones through a gate or blah, 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 some nonsense. But the way I look at it is I will see if I can find the key to this. And, you know, just change things up a little bit. Uh, the log will tell me things that I forgot, right? War of the Stones. What is Source Hunter's Journey? The Longest Quest. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, it's hiding behind the house near the village gate. Uh, they're hiding behind the house near the village gate. It is latch hidden under a hard boulder. And the key is hidden behind a beehive behind the wizard's house. Okay. So, let's go find it. So, hello, beehives. Nope. Nope. There it is. Key found in beehive. Now to find out what it unlocked. Okay. Um. Do with a cold drink. You sure could, buddy. I just wish I could help you out there. So, uh, that'll open up some things. You notice the experience went up, like, quite a lot. Like, those rats were, like, 10k a pop, and I'm getting close to, was level 18 pretty quickly? What's happening? Um, I like this village. Uh, I like the, this quest chain. Just not a huge fan. Um, yeah. Do you mean, like, here? Is this the village? Is this by the gate? Oh, there's anything here. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of jars of honey, though, am I right? Um... There, I'm assuming it's going to be near the entrance to the village, so bear with me as I run across the whole entire place go and try my very best to ignore conversation with anybody. Uh, funny enough, though, you could talk to the mayor here, which I think I'll do just real quick. Because it's interesting, because the mayor, you remember we had him switch skulls, he was a mayor. At your service, what can I do for you, citizen? Oh, Ferris, Mayor Burton. We've hit a bit of a rough patch, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Immigration's a real head-scratcher these days. Now, I don't discriminate against orcs, of course. Of course. But they're rather rowdy fellows with some very peculiar habits. They're rapists. Well, I'm sure some of them aren't, though. And then there's the rate of crime. Shot up terribly recently, what with the mass slaughter that took place. You'd think that kind of thing only happens in the big city. But no, we have our fair share of urban problems here in Hunter's Edge. Uh, urban is codenamed for black. Busy days, busy days. But don't you worry, Mayor Burton's on the ball. I have an idea. Let's build a giant wall. And we'll make the uh, orcs pay for it. Sound good? Nope. All right. I don't really know how that's gonna play out, honestly, uh, when it comes to this. So, oh, okay. So, this near is the these are near the village gate. Was there like a shack here or something? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't done this particular part. I haven't even found a place for the key. This does seem like this is the entrance to things, right? Was there, oh, wasn't there like some boulder I was supposed to I hit? To drown my sorrows with ale. I kind of forget. I'm going to check over here before I go anywhere else. Hmm. I need to dry Reading one more time. Uh, told us finding those just hiding behind a house near the village like gate. A There's a hatch hidden a under a large boulder. These are the ones... Wait, this looks like a boulder. Maybe. Warm as dragon's breath. It's hard to... Hey, you already checked beneath these boards. What a deluge! What a deluge! Why can't you pick those up? I can't pick up anything. The orcs tore through this place mm. like wild pigs. Where is the boulder? I mean, that kind of looks like the boulder. Maybe she meant the other gate to the village? That makes a lot more sense, actually. Oh, boy! Yeah, because it wasn't here. So, back we go! Da, da 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 running on through. So, like I said, the quests here are kind of great. Uh, they do a lot of good stuff um, to really highlight some of the cool stuff that you can do. I find it interesting that you can kind of go undercover. 
Um, more games need to do this. I do think they're a little thick because, like, you really think the conduit would put, like, a poster with, like, one of our faces on it and been like, do not let these people do what they're doing. Oh my god, I hate you all. Oh, there's a hidden key. Prison. Oh, there's a hidden. Oh. Never mind, that's a hidden cellar. It's over there. <laughs> Okay. My bad. Is it over here? Whatever, I'm heading towards it. So matters. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, this seems all I feel like I've just had a long bath in a cold place. This boulder looks strange. Unreal. This bold, this, 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 this boulder looks strange. This is, this, 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 this. So, the key to it, so I have to basically go like this. And go, let us add in key to boulder. No. Do I have to lift it up or something? This boulder looks strange. Huh. Unreal. Maybe this is only half of the, the story. I don't know, maybe that's why I have to also interrogate the prisoners. Hidden latch under a large boulder, the key is hidden under a beehive, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, huh. Okay, so, unless maybe I can looks strange. teleport. Unreal, even. Wrong one. Nope, can't teleport it. That's interesting. Uh, can I move around this side, maybe, or whatever? Hmm. So it seems to me like maybe I do have to do something else um, in order to open this up. This boulder because the key that I found in the beehive doesn't work. Path is blocked, path is blocked, and I'm assuming it's trying to let this in on here. Um, because it's going to be underneath there. So, maybe the answer does lie in interrogating the prisoners. So, that is what we'll do in the next episode. Spoiler alert, I, I, I kind of know some of the answers to things that will happen there. But, that doesn't stop me from, uh, being able to, uh, figure out other such things. Prison, there you go. You know, it's funny, I, never, I didn't even really know I could do that. The whole, like, highlighting, uh, objectives on the map is I'm probably... Should have been doing that a long time ago. Um, but anyway, so we'll interrogate the prisoners in the next episode. And by that, I mean we'll hopefully help them out of their predicament, if you will. Plus, there's still the armory key to deal with. So we'll have to figure out that one. So let's just get ourselves down there before... Hi, yes. Yep. They did. That big brute downstairs hasn't the faintest idea what he's doing. Club's witness after witness over the head, smashing him to bits before we can get so much as a word out of him. Sounds about right. Okay, can I go then? I sure can. And it's slightly less noisy here. Ooh, look at that. What? What? What does that say? It says something like Tristan or something. All is right. Huh. Anyway, well. Look, we have ourselves a, uh, perhaps a prison break. Ooh. Wow, that's cool. I can see all this kind of going on here. Lots of cool stuff we'll be doing. We might be overstaying our welcome after this point, which may mean that the armory key will end up just being used by us versus being turned into anyone. But we'll find out. Thank you much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, and, uh, I will see you next time. Take care.